Hello, Sagittarius. I know I'm late, guys, but better late than never, right? So, this is your reading for May 2019. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. For May, what messages do we have for Sagittarius in love for May 2019? We're going to do this Celtic cross with the cards face down. Sagittarius, messages for Sagittarius. The energy that's around you guys right there. Who's crossing you? you want to jump out? Let's see what the underlying issue is here or the past issue okay that one wanted to flip over two of them my car is upside down so i'm gonna flip these right side up and i'm gonna do the same with these cars up here okay so let's go ahead and that flip the cards Hey guys, I'm getting it together. Let's see the recent past here for my Sagittarius friends. Let's see what's crowning you. What's on your brain this month? It's here. And what's coming in for you guys to see? How you view the situation? It's there. Let's see what the influence is for you guys here hopes or fears is here and then the overall it's right there all right let's jump right into this and see what's going on with you guys okay what's around you is a five of cups here this is having regrets missing someone okay whether it's you missing someone or somebody is missing you but this is also um, about feeling lonely, feeling like you'll, you know, you won't have or experience that love that you have been seeking or that you've had before. Okay. This could also be a Scorpio individual that surrounds you guys that is missing you or is feeling regretful. Um, around a decision okay involving this love involving the emotions that you guys share okay now what's crossing you is the full energy I'm definitely feeling that there is somebody around you that wants to come towards you and is feeling not so confident about it okay um this person may feel like they have made like the ultimate mistakes with you previously but they are definitely wanting to give um this connection another chance okay wanting to come towards you scorpio aries energy here okay now the past issues here were the Ace of Pentacles and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like um, with with these two cards is the Eight of Pentacles. Like the issue was there was somebody that was functioning on their own, not really putting in the work to actually build the connection. They were they were functioning out of self interest not for the benefit of the relationship in the whole um somebody was investing somewhere else trying to start or plant seeds somewhere else and i feel that is where uh this individual is having a lot of regrets and feels very foolish because i feel like all of this is a mistake this is almost like feeling like the grass is, was greener on the other side that kind of thing okay now what was going in the past for you guys here is the two of pentacles i don't see your energy anywhere here 
Sagittarius. I feel like there, there's somebody here that is in your energy so very strongly that um, really does not know how to make things right. All they're focused on right now is what went wrong and what they have done um, that, you know, brought this relationship crumbling down. It's what I'm seeing here. Somebody was very selfish in this situation and, and they feel that and they know they made a mistake. They know they did something that um, was not good, like for this relationship, okay? They feel very foolish about it. Um, they're hopeful still, you know, as in regards to you guys, but there's a lot of self-pity going on with this individual currently, okay? Now, what's crowning you guys here is a chariot energy. You're just, you're wanting to move on. There's something that I feel like at this point, you're kind of over a situation, and you're wanting peace of mind. You're wanting, you know, your emotions um, to be in a peaceful state. You just want to be happy. But I feel like right now, I'm feeling like you guys are wanting, you're not necessarily wanting this relationship back. I feel like there was a lot that you put into a connection. And you may have put somebody else's needs before your own. I'm thinking that this seven of um, this chariot energy is all about you putting yourself first and moving forward. Now is the time for you to put yourself first. Like I'm hearing, like you know, I, I'm always putting this person first, or I always do, you know put other people before myself. It's my time. It's my time. Is what I'm hearing with this seven, with this. I want to. I keep want to say seven of cups, um, and and maybe you guys do have options here, and you realize that you know whatever the situation was with this individual, this was not the end all be all. That there's something better out there for you, something better suited for you. Is what I'm getting here. Now, what's coming in for you is strength. I feel like you're very attracted to this individual, um, whoever hurt you, whoever you feel like, you know, you put way more of yourself into this connection than they did. Um, I feel like you're fighting with yourself right now. You're fighting with yourself to maintain your, your, your dignity, your strength, your composure, um, and not go back to a situation where you felt unappreciated. I feel like you're getting your your stamina back. You you're feeling more confident about yourself and your choices. And you're pushing forward. Okay. Now how you view this situation currently is a nine of cups. Is a nine of cups. I do feel like you're at a point where it's all about you and your happiness. Um, what 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 is going to make me happy? Like completely. I don't feel like you're missing out on anything or or you're longing for a relationship or this person even. I feel like you definitely miss the good times that you guys shared. And I feel that, you know, there is a sense that, you know, you wish it could have um, been what you initially wanted it to be, but since it didn't work out that way, I, th I think you're all about moving forward, making strides in your personal life, um, not necessarily relationship-wise. I think you're good right now. I think you come to grips with what happened here. Okay, what's influencing you right now is the fact that you've learned a valuable lesson to take forward with you into the future. You're wanting to start over. Some of you may be traveling, may be going on vacation. Okay, but there's definitely something that I feel like 
you have you have learned in this situation it was a hard lesson though I feel very hard lesson for you it was hard for you also to let go to let go of control is what I'm hearing of this situation it could also be um, a Scorpio Leo Aquarius Taurus individual that uh, is significant for you that's wanting to have another go with you and I'm definitely seeing that somebody wants to like you know make a fool of themselves if they have to to get back into your good graces I just don't know if you are you will be accepting of that because I see you with your back turned. I see you moving forward making strides I see you want to do different things with your life have better than what you have experienced. I see that. Okay. Your hopes or fears here. So six of swords. Hmm. This is all about moving on, being able to move on, um, having the clarity that you need, the mental balance, you know, not to be worried or not to be complacent either but not standing still you don't want to have to or feel like you want to go back to a situation that was not good for you before I'm, I'm getting that your hope is to have the strength to not go back to not be to feel compelled to go back because I'm feeling very deep feelings in this reading although I'm feeling you guys not really wanting to go back to the situation and experience what you've experienced before with this individual you want to move on I feel like it's been a struggle though it's been a struggle for you guys okay your overall outcome for the month is the Knight of Swords this is all about movement. This is all about action, speaking your mind, um, conveying whatever you need to convey to who you need to convey it to, to get your point across and to not let anybody sway you from doing that. So I'm getting that maybe, you know, before you guys probably didn't speak out when somebody offended you, when this person offended you, when when this person did things to, you know, make you feel less than or make you feel like you wanted to question their motives or their actions sometimes. I feel like a lot of you kept that to yourself. And that has been a struggle too, the fact that you didn't necessarily speak out when you felt you should have. I don't feel like that's gonna be any longer. Again you guys have definitely learned a hard lesson in this situation but at the same time there's somebody that is wanting to approach you this person is still not stable they're still not um, solid in what they wanted and what they're going to do but they are in what they want to do there's a difference okay they want to come towards you but they're not sure if they can build this connection up. If they are, are able to let go of whatever else they need to let go of in order to, to get this connection to the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. I definitely get this feeling of love, regret. Um, of past selfishness of past juggling even okay so I think I told you Scorpio Aquarius Leo Taurus energy is here um, Pisces energy is here Cancer <clears throat> Aries Capricorn Okay, so my Sagittarius friends, that is what I have for you for the month of May, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.